Hi, everybody. Welcome back again to WHR.com, broadcasting live here from Disney. And I am joined by, man, the incredible, the incomparable. I love her smile. She's so beautiful and so talented and so inspiring. The one and the only Mickey Taylor. Hello. How are you Hi again? There. How are you? And thank you for those kind <laughs> words. That's a beautiful thing, especially for a sister early in the morning. I know it's like day number two here at Disney. Yes. How How's it been going so far for you? It's been amazing. You yeah. know, this group of dreamers, they're passionate, they're enthusiastic, they are ready to get involved and get engaged and really, you know, get what they need uh, to pursue their dreams. They yeah. came here with that intent and you can tell mm -hmm. and it's it's really exciting yeah and just miss Taylor in your opinion what can folks that do not have the opportunity to make it down here to Disney do at home to continue to push their children to dream well two things first I want them to know that they can partake of some of the information at Disney.com so mm -hmm. that's important but secondly parents and chaperones play a vital role in supporting the dreams you know I believe that dreams are divinely instilled mm. so at, you know as a guardian and a parent you're giving the role to support them in their dreams and to really provide all the information that you can and the motivation to push them to step onto that path and pursue it. As far as to the youngins, if you will, and the dreams that they have, mm -hmm. they need to know that dreams are important. Again, they are divinely instilled. Wow. The gift has been given to you to fully act on it, and it's not a notion. It, it is something that is given to you, divinely ordered, and God doesn't order anything that he doesn't intend to use. Wow. So know that your dreams are important. You are never too young to start pursuing them hmm. and to get the information that you need to know. What you must do is cut all of the distractions out of your life so you can be focused as you run ahead to seize what you want. Hmm. If and I tell you nothing else, you must cut out the distractions. Wow. And let's talk a little bit about your message. I know you always close it out at the commencement with one of your inspiring messages. What do you uh, plan to inspire us with this year? Well, one of the things I'm telling us is sort of like the Paul, uh, Apostle Paul told young Timothy. He said, be thou an example. And that's what I'm asking the dreamers to be, mm. to be that example, to believe in their, in their dreams and to know that not only must they understand that they will succeed, but that when they arrive there, that there is something that they must do with it. They must give to others. They must instruct uh, when they get there and make those dollars, as Steve Harvey talks about, mm -hmm. that they must give back because greatness gives back. Wow. Uh, one of the things I want them to be reminded of is that they are walking in the dreams of our elders. Yeah. The, the steps that they're taking, the blessing that they have by being here this weekend, they, ha they have been paid for through the duties and the love and the exercise of those who came before them. Yeah. Don't take it for granted. Know what to do with it. Where do your messages come from? Because like I said, they're always so inspiring. I know they're for the young people, but man, they move me every single year when I hear you speak. Is it divinely given to you? These messages are divinely given, but it reminds me also of what the Word says, that we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Mm. The witnesses are those that came before us. The witnesses that link arms and aims with us here this weekend at Disney. We have work to do. Yeah. There's a there's a call to consciousness. We have not been given these opportunities. We have not been given this information for nothing. And I'm conscious of that. So anything that is divinely given to me, I want to spend all of it. Wow. I could just walk around and listen to you talk all day, Miss Taylor. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us. Thank okay? you so much. <laughs> Again, everybody, Mickey Taylor joining us live here at WHUR.com.